See you, John. All right, see you later. All right, it tells me that I'm live. Woohoo! Now let's just see if we can find some people to uh, uh, sign in today and visit us. I know it's been a very busy few days between Christmas and New Year's, but we are back at my sewing room and we are live in our studio today. Oh, there's someone. Hi, Ruth. Oh, oh excellent. So the, we're, we're still loved out there in the world of, of uh, Facebook and YouTube. Anyways, yeah, we're just waiting for some more people to come online. I see we're up to three. Oh, there's hi, Anne. Anne S. is on. How's Northern Ontario these days? Is it nice? We getting snowfall? Hi, Nancy C. I hope everybody had a really wonderful Christmas. Um, or as George said today when he came in, happy third day of Christmas. So I get they start on the 25th and countdown. I always thought they started at like, you know, 12 days before the 25th and did it. But anyways, who knows? All right, this looks like everybody's kind of coming online and getting ready. All right, you guys, season's greetings and welcome to Wacky Wednesday at my sewing room. And thank you for joining me, Sandy. Um, and you can join me either on Facebook is that my Robin? Robin's on YouTube, or you can join me on YouTube. So that's wonderful. We do do that uh, Monday to Fridays on regular days, not holidays, but uh, around 4.15 we come on and uh, tell you all sorts of interesting things and, and get you up to date. So I do have a few special shout outs to some Facebook friends and YouTube viewers. Hi, Tina. Hi, Anne. And no snow at all. Mild and foggy. Fantastic weather. We are very mild here as well. Um, feeling sorry for the farmers who don't have any snow pack. But uh, anyways, hopefully it will come for those who are needing it or are skiing or snowboarding. All right, shout outs to some of our regulars throughout the whole year. And I can't believe we're at the end of the year and this is the year in review. Just unbelievable. So I see some of you have already signed in like Ruth C. There's Ann L, Sandy A, Nancy C is here. Um, Ann S is here. Michelle uh, G, Loan F, uh, Denise B, Tina B, Kim J. Robin is over there on YouTube, Carol G, Catherine K, Val S, Annette W, June K, uh, Rose L, Esther R, Donna H, Chris L, and of course uh, to our, our people with their lovely pets, Mary Z with her Spencer, Oliver, and Olivia, Glenda and Mike and Peanut, Carol, Paul, and Olivia, and then more shout outs to Betty L, uh, Jean and Maui Jim, Darcy B, Sonia, I forgot Sonia your last name, so you just Sonia for right now, Carol F, Sheila and Bev, our golden girls, and Irene and Barry. I uh, want to say thank you for all of you people who tune in every week. Uh, it is absolutely wonderful. I see Esther's online over there now too. Thank you so much. It, it just makes it kind of fun having people out there who are uh, hopefully enjoying what we're doing. So the year is winding down and soon it will be 2024. So a new year, a new start, new projects. But before we get to next year, let's just review some of the fun things that happened this year on Wacky Wednesday. So if you're really looking to review, there is a whole year's worth of Wacky Wednesday on Facebook and on YouTube. Uh, some of them are only on Facebook because when we did them, we were in a different location and we didn't have the YouTube hookup, but others are on both. So if you, if you missed one of these shows, by all means, go back and have a look. So I have selected eight of the most memorable shows and characters, and let's get started. Are you ready? Here we go. So 
to start off the year, of course, we do we did gnomes because Sandy loves gnomes. But then we decided we better get busy and get something done for Valentine's. So we made the old love mini quilt. And our lovely Cupid came to join us for that. And of course, it wasn't the secret, uh, Victoria's secret angel, who I really, really tried hard to become. It was Cupid Sandy who came and showed us how to make old love. So who has a date? Oh, I'm going to come back to the front. Oh, I didn't come back to the front. Okay, push the button harder. Am I back to the front? Okay, good. Who always has a date on Valentine's Day? A calendar. And how did the coin propose to his girlfriend? He gave her a jingle. Yeah. So that show was filled with making this lovely um, mini quilt, plus also all of the lovely Valentine's and Cupid jokes that day. Okay, second one. This one just tickled me pink. I had so much fun with this one. This one was a whole month of the chicken. Remember, he came as a chick, he came as an old hen, he came, <laughs> made some chicken pot pie and some chicken stew with him. But you'll remember the quilt that we made. Oops, I need to talk was the chicken crossing the road and of course there's the old chicken that came to visit us and we kind of made him into all sorts of stuff and in the end he finally made it across the road and left us but this was the cute little chicken crossing the road mini quilt and i have to tell you that was the most fun four weeks of chicken things i've ever done and um the one that reminded me the most fun was, and I would show it to you, but I don't have it anymore. It was the little chicks in a, in a row candle mat. And I took it home and the dog ate it. And as Betty said, hmm, he said, tastes good, just like chicken. Anyways, I'd love to show you that, but the dog ate that one. So we won't talk about that one. But what do you call a chicken crossing the road? poultry in motion yep and why did the chicken cross the road to balk the traffic balk balk and then why didn't the chicken cross the road because there was a kfc on the other side now my famous forever wonderful joke was why did the rubber chicken cross the road to stretch her legs well I have to tell you you guys I got a rubber chicken for Christmas I don't know if you can hear it but I thought oh my goodness isn't this just the best thing ever it's supposed to be a dog toy but when I heard it I thought oh I have to have the rubber chicken he has to come and tell jokes this year the rubber chicken so there's our rubber chicken so that was our whole month of chicken the chicken crossing the road, which was just a hoot. We had so much fun with that. All right, next, if you remember, we had a lovely young lady, and her name, she was the paper bag princess, if you remember her. She had to do duty against the dragons, and she was just having a horrible time, and in the end, her whole, remember she had a birthday party for her dragon and the dragon was trying to blow out the trick candles and it didn't work and he got frustrated and he ended up, oh, he burnt up the awning, he burnt up the house. We saved ourselves, but not by much. And all we had to wear was our paper bag. So I came to my sewing room and if you remember, Maureen made me a beautiful box for my house, house made by Maureen. And everybody else chipped in and made me some lovely craft text paper products so that I could have something to wear. And I survived, but I had some really nice paper creations. 
I had wallets and I had little purses and I had big bags and it was a lot of fun. That was all about the paper bag princess. I, that was a joke. That was a hoot. So yes, thank you to the paper bag princess for that. So, you know, I love Disney. So which Disney princess would make the best judge? Why, Snow White, of course, because she's the fairest of them all. <laughs> and which jo which princess do you think I would like the most? Because I think this one, because this one makes the most clever jokes. It's Rapunzel. Yes, yeah, so that was our days of the paper bag princess. That was absolutely fun. And it was a great time making my own dress out of paper. All right, next. Ah, next. I got to tell you that this was one of my most fun things. And I have to tell you that Barbie left her wig behind and her bandana and some sunglasses for me. But that was a really amazing one was Barbie. And if you remember, I went to... Um, Oh, California because I'd wanted to try out as a Barbie stunt double yeah I didn't make that either didn't make it as a Victoria Noddle certainly didn't make it as the Barbie stunt double but I had a really good time down in LA and that was a lot of fun so I have some really serious questions about Barbie are you ready why does Barbie still look so good at 64 years old well, of course, plastic surgery. Yes. Oh, I see Sandy A is on. Loan has come on. Thanks, guys. Good to see you. Yeah, we're just reviewing some of the funny things that happened this year and, and the funny characters that came to visit. And Barbie was one of them. All right, so another Barbie question. Deep, deep the thought for this blonde. Why did Barbie never go to art class? She was already picture perfect. Yeah, we had fun with that Barbie one. I have to tell you that I actually had a customer come in looking for Barbie after the fact because this person wanted Barbie's autograph. So maybe Barbie might have to come back and visit us again, but we'll see. All right, so that was Barbie. And she did fashion fabrics. I guess I should talk about what she really liked and what she was here to talk about. Because, you know, Barbie is such a little fashionista so we were she talked to us about patterns and making your own clothes and of course we do have patterns new look patterns cashmere patterns and some lovely um, fashion fabric some stretch knits and jersey and of course you could use the cottons to make things as well uh, don't have to just be limited to fashion fabrics but that was it so barbie had a good time teaching us all about fashion fabrics and patterns and making some clothes for yourself so you look really good and then we did one and i think you'll recognize the uh, braids and the hat and that one was this was uh, the berry picking or apple picking sandy yeah, and she picked all those berries and things and fabrics. We just had such a good time with that, picking the fabrics. There's lots of good fabrics. And what did we make out of them? Well, of course, we made the pie pot holders. And these are all embroidered. They're OESD designs. They're just so cute. Anne made those. And if you remember Sandy, Sandy did an apple picking uh, show um, with pot holders and things and I think they just reran that as part of our newsletter that went out so yeah check it out some of our newsletters that uh, uh, Chelsea has been doing have been really funny and they've been a great great thing to do all right well and in the midst of all of our chaos that year I'm sorry I got sick and I actually missed the witches of my sewing broom and I know that Chelsea and those guys did their very best to make stuff come out of the cauldron and that was in the shows the witching hour I think there was 
ha happy Halloween and ghost times or something. But uh, so our other famous one was my sewing room witch. Close that. So remember the lovely broomstick and the lovely hat. We got the Sandy the witch left those for us. So and we did the witching hour. Um, I can't remember what else. We did a few other Halloween shows with witches, but it sure was fun. We were doing some night. We did some Fright Night quilt, quilt kits with Boo. It, this kit contained all the patterns and the fabric and the binding. And it was just so whimsical and sweet. And it was a Fright Night. So anyways, yes. Yeah, so we enjoyed some of those as well. Oh my heavens. So those were seven of the more memorable ones that came on. And of course, we always have Sandy Gnome because to know me is to love me and to know more. And I can't remember what the other one was called, but we had a lot of gnomes this year as well. All right, then, of course, to end out that year, we, <laughs> we had some help from somebody who had, oh, Oh, I'm sorry, I'm jumping ahead because you know what? We had some really good witch jokes. Yeah. What is the problem with twin witches? Well, you never know which witch is which. There's a good play on witch. And what happened to the witch with an upside down nose? Every time she sneezed, she blew her hat off. So I got to tell you that when I was doing this to his review, I came up with new jokes. So the jokes that you hear on the show will probably be slightly different. All right, then we had an infestation, I will call it, of the things. We had thing one come. And thing one helped out making uh, embroidered napkins. Remember that? And they turned out really lovely. They were white stitching on red background. That was really cool. And then a couple days later, thing two came along and showed what happens when you use the wrong stabilizer. <laughs> and that was not so good. And then not long after that, through the month of no December, I guess it was, we did the 12 days of Christmas. And we had another thing join us, and that was thing four, because thing four did four meters of fabric. And then a little bit later on, thing number nine came to join us. And thing nine, of course, did nine nifty notions. And it was really glad, I was really glad to hear that there were some people who actually had the same nifty notions as I did. And, I, and it's not that I picked out things that were woohoo, but things that we used in our quilting and our sewing all the time that you couldn't do without. So those nine nifty notions. All right, you guys, what did the cat in the hat order at the restaurant? This is all those cat in the hat favorite people's story. One fish, two fish, red fish, blue fish. I wonder how many of you have been reading that out loud to, to little ones these days. Hi, Chris. <laughs> Anyways, that's fun. All right. I know you've heard bad jokes all year. Can you stand one more? Are you ready for one more? Why did the cat in the hat pour oil on the mouse? Because it squeaked. <laughs> that one's my favorite. My favorite of all of them. Anyways, you guys, thank you for joining me and Rubber Chicken for a year, <laughs> year in review. And I look forward to uh, the new year and lots of new ideas and characters. So um, I'm going to be back all week by popular man demand because uh, Chelsea and I got things to do this week on yeah, Facebook. She says, yeah, we do. So stay tuned for the rest of this week. Uh, Thursday at 4.15, we're going to be doing an interesting interview, Chelsea and I. And then on Friday uh, at 4.15, we will be having our New Year's Eve party. So I want you to hang tight for those uh, two other Facebooks this week. So yeah, but I do look forward to the new year and lots of fun things. And um, 
Yeah, everybody have a great New Year's, but I'll talk to you tomorrow on Thursday. But I want to wish you all the best in 2024. Thank you for sticking with me on Wacky Wednesday and, and helping me enjoy myself on Facebook and YouTube. You're the rest. Thanks so much. See you tomorrow.